All right, guys, let's talk about the heel separation function in Pro Tools. All right, so this one's definitely going to be a shorty video because there's not a lot to this topic, but there's this function in Pro Tools called heel separation. And so basically it's the idea that if you add a break point to a clip in your timeline, so if I were, for example, to uh, hit B to break here, or for example, if I were to delete a part of this audio, uh, but for whatever reason you end up adding a breakpoint or multiple breakpoints to a clip in Pro Tools, there is a way you can heal it as long as you haven't moved anything on the timeline. So I can't actually move any of these back and forth for this function to work, or at least that's my understanding last time I looked into it. So basically what you can do is if I've, I've made these breakpoints, I've deleted this content, what I can do is highlight the range that I want Pro Tools to heal, and then I can just do Command H and it just heals that section for me. And that's the basic function. So if I were to move this, right, and then try to heal it, so I'll do Command H again, it doesn't do anything. So I just hit Command H, didn't do anything at all. But for example, if I were to undo that move and then try to heal it, the breakpoint's still there, it does work. So that's the heal separation function. Again, you can't move anything on the timeline for it to work, but it will heal chunks of audio that you've either removed or cut up to some extent. And I think you can find it under the edit menu here, if I'm remembering right. Yeah, so it's right here on the edit menu. Mine is not active because I don't have any break here for it to heal, but if I do this, it should, it should become active again. So heel separation, you can find it here on the edit menu. I just do command H when I have to do this. I don't use this function a ton, to be honest, but it is handy to know about. And the other thing you can do, it's not as perfect as like heel separation is, but you remember if you, for example, delete a part of a clip, right? Pro Tools will remember that whole clip. So you can just always trim it out if you want. But again, getting that same exact beginning and ending is gonna be a little bit harder using this method than it would be using something like heel separation. So yeah, that's the heel separation function in Pro Tools. I hope someone finds that helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, I'd appreciate all that stuff. And I do have a Patreon, so it's, ooh, hair in my mouth. So it's patreon.com slash noise, and my patrons get access to additional content. We have a Discord server that we're all helping each other on, hanging out on. We're having a book club on the Discord server, stuff like that. So feel free to check that out if you feel so inclined. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thanks for watching. Okay.